Struggling to convert your social media followers into actual leads? Want to see how I doubled my email subscribers from my social media in the past six months? I've been using a tool to help capture more leads and convert those leads into paying customers. And the best part, it is all done on autopilot. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Keep watching. Hey Posse, what's up? It's Alex. I am really excited to finally be sharing this tutorial with you. It has been a long time coming and I know it is going to help so many of you save more time, generate more leads for your business and have better launches and promotions. In this video, I'm going to reveal exactly how we use a chat bot to turn social subscribers into email leads here at the Copy Posse and how we turn those leads into customers 100% on autopilot. Plus, I'll share all my best tips and suggestions for using chat bots. But before we get started, make sure to like this video if you want to see more marketing how-to videos like this. Right here on my channel, you'll find hundreds of videos to help you run a successful business online, from understanding marketing to helping you sell more products and services through copywriting, social media tips, lead generation, email list monetization, and so much more. So make sure to subscribe below and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Now let's get into it. So the first question you may be wondering is what sort of magical tool we use to create these automated social media conversions? Well, the tool that we use is actually called ManyChat. ManyChat is an AI enhanced chatbot tool that allows businesses to automate customer interactions and engagement with their audience in a conversational, fun, and personalized way. You decide what you want your chatbot to say and do, whether it's delivering free resources, promoting a sale or a masterclass, or really anything else, which means you can make it sound exactly like you. And you build your chat sequence once and then set it and forget it and watch as it generates leads and sales for you on autopilot. Pretty cool, right? Now here at the Copy Posse, we use ManyChat exclusively for generating leads and driving sales through Instagram DMs and comments, but you can absolutely use ManyChat for Facebook Messenger, SMS, and email marketing. But this tutorial is going to focus on how we use it with Instagram. ManyChat operates by using keywords that trigger the chat bot to send an automated direct message. You can use it to promote or boost whatever metric is important to you in your business. Maybe that's downloading some sort of a free guide or resource, which then adds them to your email list, or maybe it's signing up for a free masterclass, or maybe it's a discount code for whatever it is that you're selling or really anything else. So we primarily use it for generating new leads and sending our audience to free guides and resources that of course they can sign up for via email. And if you follow us over on Instagram, then you've most definitely met Benny the Posse bot. Benny sends out quick DMs and responses to those looking for links and resources. For example, anyone who comments the word hot copy, one word, will automatically receive a free copy of my hot offer checklist. Or if you type the word S guide, you will get my free social media captions and CTAs guide. Or if you DM me the word ultimate, you will get my ultimate email marketing cheat sheet or P words to get a copy of 250 power words that you can use to spruce up your copy. Now, these are all different sequences that we've set up through ManyChat to help us deliver free resources to our audience very, very quickly. And when the recipient signs up to download their freebie, they input their email address and voila, we have a brand new lead who might just turn into a paying customer. Now, this has been a total game changer in my business because before we started using ManyChat, my team and I would have to manually send out download links to everyone who requested them, which was a very long and tedious process. Or we would use the very outdated link in bio CTA, which ultimately resulted in very little clicks and new leads. But now we're able to generate hundreds of leads a day and my team is working less because they don't have to manually send out links to each person and my community is getting exactly what they want when they want it. All right, ready to see how this works and set up your very own chatbot sequence? Let's get into this demo. I am going to share my screen and show you how to set up a chatbot on Instagram. All right, so I'm sharing my screen here to walk you through this ManyChat demo. Obviously, the very first thing you want to do is go to ManyChat.com and get started setting up your account if you've never used this tool before. I use it all the time, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my Facebook account. It makes it really, really easy. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on this profile here. And this brings you to your main ManyChat dashboard. Now, if this is the first time you're using it, you want to go down to Settings and integrate your Instagram channel here. So you click on Instagram and then you go ahead and link your Instagram account. Now you are ready to start setting up automations through your Instagram. So then you're gonna go over and click on automation here in the sidebar. 
and new flow in the top right hand corner. You can go ahead and skip the templates here, just start from scratch. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do, of course, is set up a new trigger. So go ahead and click on the new trigger button and click on Instagram and you'll see all of the options that are available to you with setting up an Instagram automation. So of course you can set it up for anytime someone comments on your live, sends a direct message with a keyword, replies to your story. For the sake of this uh, demo, we are gonna click on this top one, which is user comments on your post or reel. Now you're ready to start customizing this automation. The first drop down allows you to decide whether or not you want this to fire on a specific post or reel, which is the free version of ManyChat. Or if you upgrade to the pro, you can uh, have it fire on any post or reel, which is obviously what we do because we like to reuse our automations and use similar keywords across a lot of different types of content. And then on the second drop down, you want to say, okay, what's the condition of this automation? The comment contains any words, so really anytime anyone comments, they would get this DM, or the comment contains specific words. We're gonna do specific words because we want to be intentional and make sure that only people who are asking for this DM actually get it. So when you choose specific words, you can actually set up a keyword. So anytime a comment includes this specific keyword, it will fire this DM. Now, a little tip here is don't use a common word like yes, because People might say that just in passing, in conversation, like, yes, Alex, I love this, but they're not saying, yes, send me the free guide necessarily. So using a keyword that's easy to type, but also not something that someone would accidentally say in passing is something I highly recommend because remember the bot will fire anytime the keyword is used. So you don't want to use common words and then end up spamming people if they don't want it. So choose very specific keywords that people are likely to only be using when they want the DM. I would also suggest typing in different variations of this keyword. So oftentimes we'll include a keyword like hot copy, for example, but oftentimes people will write it and put a space in it. And so if someone writes hot space copy, we can still, you know, guess that they do in fact want this free guide. And so you can do different versions of the keyword to account for misspellings or if someone puts a space in, etc. You can also choose to exclude keywords like, hey, if they say hot copy, but it also includes this other word, don't send it. We don't use that very often, but it is a nice feature to know that it is there. Next, and this is totally optional, you can actually toggle on this public auto response in feed option to publicly reply to people's comments. And so oftentimes, we will put in a response like, hey, check your DMs. We just sent you the free guide you asked for. And you can see a little example of that pop up on your screen right now. And you can also add in multiple variations. So if you don't want the comment to always be the same, you can add in a few different variations here. So next, you're ready to actually create your message. So you're going to go ahead and save that and then come back to the screen here and click on Instagram. This is where you wanna enter your actual message. So a quick tip here is I would recommend adding in a reminder of what they asked for so they don't think you're spamming them. So you're saying, hey, thanks for asking for a copy of my hot offer checklist. You will find it below, something like that. The other thing that we do here is I never pretend that I, me, Alex, is the one sending you the message within a millisecond of you asking uh, for the guide. I think it's pretty unbelievable when, <laughs> when people get automated DMs and think it's the, you know, the actual person responding. So we always say that it's Benny the Posse bot to let our followers and our audience know, hey, this is in fact an automation. I'll tell you more about why I do that in a second, but I just really think it helps you know, with transparency and letting people know that we are all about getting you your goods really, really fast. And that's why we use a, a chat automation. Next, you want to keep this message really, really short and sweet. And of course, if you go ahead and comment any of the keywords I mentioned over on Instagram, you will see examples of how we keep these messages uh, pretty tight. And then the last thing, of course, is you want to include a call to action. So you do that by adding a button here. You can, you know, name the button anything you like. It could say, get free guide, download here, anything like that, and then go ahead and click on open website. And here you can actually put the URL to whatever your landing pages, sales page, lead magnet, 
whatever makes the most sense there. I like to use a button rather than pasting in the raw link because it looks a lot cleaner, but then also it is um, trackable in terms of how many clicks you get. If you just paste the link right in here, uh, ManyChat doesn't tell you actually how many people click on it, but if it's a button and an actual call to action here, then you see. And then once you're done adding all that in, you simply put push publish and that's it. You're ready to go. My final tip, of course, is make sure you are testing. You don't want to push something live and say comment below with a keyword and then the automation doesn't work or else you will be sending a lot of manual DMs. And that is that. All right, now that is something really simple just to get you started. But listen, you can also build out a lot more complex sequences and personalized funnels that allow your audience to choose their own adventure based on what information they need next. This is so, so cool. So we actually do this during our product promotions or new product launches, and it can look something like this. So I know this looks pretty overwhelming visually, but it's actually pretty simple. When someone comments the keyword asking for more information, we send them a link to the sales page. Then we take them through a short customer journey with a few follow-up messages, and they have the option to decide whether or not they wanna to go to the sales page again, or ask a question, or see the bonuses one by one right there in their DMs. Then depending on what they click, they'll get another automated message that just provides them what they asked for. Now, what I love about this is it puts control back into your customer's hands. Rather than forcing them down a funnel that you think they want, they are able to select the information that they want to see and even ask questions. And there's even an AI feature that can send automatic responses to people's questions based on specific phrases or words they used. So for example, if they ask about a payment plan, you can use that keyword to then trigger a payment plan response. And the AI feature will scan the questions and decide which answer is right for them based on what they asked. And of course, it does take a bit of time to set up, but when done properly, this can massively decrease your customer customer support times. Okay, now let's talk best practices. Just a few reminders and tips to keep in mind when you're using any chatbot or really any automated tool or AI in your business. I really believe that transparency is really important. You never want to lie to your audience or make them feel like they're having a real conversation with you when in fact they are not. Now, while it might seem obvious to you or obvious to me that of course I'm not in my DMs responding 24 seven to every single person within a millisecond, people don't know unless you actually tell them. That's why we always clearly identify our bot, Benny, anytime an automated message is sent so that our audience never feels duped or like they're talking directly to me when they're not. Because remember, once you lose your audience's trust, that's it, it's gone, and it's very unlikely that you'll ever get it back. Now, here's some other important tips to keep in mind. Keep your messages short and to the point. People do not like to read big walls of text, so keep your messages short and send multiple if you have to, just like you're texting a friend. And when creating more complex automations with multiple messages and different funnels and ways that people are interacting, the simpler, the better. The more complex it is, the more room there is for error. And trust me, we learned this the hard way. The first time we used a chatbot for promotion, we made it way too intense. We were excited and the bot kind of went rogue and it was sending out messages at the wrong time or sending repeat messages. And it was just too much. And I'm sure it irritated a lot of people in the posse. So always give your audience the option to talk to a human, which then of course, someone on your team will go back and get back to that person or to opt out from receiving messages. And that is another lesson we learned the hard way. Trust me, nothing kills a potential sales conversation faster than someone who just wants to talk to a human and all they get is an automated response. Or when you don't give people the option to opt out of your messages, remember just like an email list, you need to give people the ability to unsubscribe. Think of your own experiences with chatbots, right? There is nothing more frustrating than being stuck in an endless loop of bot responses that are just not helpful or going nowhere. Or when you're stuck and just can't get out, period. <laughs> all right guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Give me a thumbs up below if you wanna see more videos like this. And if you want to sign up for ManyChat, make sure to click the link in the description below and let me know in the comments what you want to learn about next. Until next time, I'm Alex. Ciao for now. All right, guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out the next one from me right here. And you can click right here to get a free gift. My email list is the number one driver of profits in my business by a long shot. And if you've been dying to start your own email list but don't know how, this video is for you. I'm gonna take you through the entire process from start to finish.